Hi everyone, David Mella here. Today I'm going to show you one of my uh, the cooler distribution plots that I sometimes use in showing people data and how it how these a certain data set displays. It's called a bag plot, and it's hard to dis to see that it's actually a bag. Um, it's called that. It depends on the data that you're using and how it shows. So. Um, the data set I'm using, I use this a lot lately, is this data share or a bike share um, data set from uh, the University of California Irving's uh, data science department. And uh, when I put in that data, and I'll show you my code right here, how I put it in, um, right here we've got the library for the read Excel, and then below it, this is where I actually read it in. Okay, so these are the uh, libraries that I'm going to use in this. Um, install if you haven't installed it APL pack right here you install it then we run as a library install that and uh, the read Excel one then I go and read in my data set I attach here and then this is the actual code it's a very small little bit of code here actually for this but what you'll see is this down here and what's cool with this it kind of looks like an evil eye so I call it the evil eye uh, bag plot um, and it kind of looks like that, but what it basically does, it puts 50% of your values are inside of this. Now this could be more circular or more linear, depends on the data set. In this case, for this data set, of, and it depends on the fields you pick too. So you'll see in here I've picked uh, count, which is total sales, and temperature. So here's temperature and here's sales. And um, then I've labeled them as such, X label, Y label. Um, that's what those X, y, X lab, Y lab is. But what's kind of cool is 50% of your points are in here, and then the rest of your points are your outer liars. You can see them all how, like, this one's way out here, and all of your points are in this circle, in this bigger bag area here. And uh, what you can see is, depending on the fields you pick, okay, in this case, temperature, as the temperature goes up, you know, from here, I've got this go this the width here goes up. See how you draw a straight line here? And you see how it gets at its widest point somewhere's right around in here. Okay? Which is somewhere's around 50 degrees. Because I know this is 0.8, so you have to multiply it by a hundred. And so this would be 50 degrees, it'd be six degrees, it'd be 40 degrees. That's the way this data set is. Now you can also look at the sales. So where's our sweet spot in sales? Well, the widest point of this is probably going to be somewhere between here and here, right? So that would be the sweet spot. You know, is going to be right in here. And so when you incorporate that together, that's where this little area is. That's your sweet spot for both. But what's kind of cool with this is you can identify your outer liars. You can identify how far out they are, how many of them there are. How few of them there are, how close they are, how far apart they are. It's not going to give you, it's not the end for all, it's not meant to be. It's just a distribution plot that shows you 50% of your uh, plot points, or your data set points, and then your outer liars. And so it shows you how good you know a data set can be how cl or actually it's not even the data set it's the fields you're using so temperature versus sales in this case I could have picked different ones and I would just go in here then and let's say I wanted to pick uh, I don't know weekday so we go in here I know this data set so I know weekday is in there and I would have to change this then to make it so it displays correctly to weekday and let's capitalize that like we did the other one and let's see everything else stays the same so what we do is we just rerun this and let's do it again and there we go now look at that see now that's not as meaningful a uh, relationship as the other one see how huge the bag is on this one so 50 percent of my plots are in here the rest of them are way out here so that's not a meaningful uh, usage there. Now we could use a temp, or we could use uh, maybe holiday. What if we used holiday instead? I know holiday is one. We could use that. We could use weekday. Let's try holiday. Let's try that. Oh, and look at that. We got a huge sweet spot of how holiday affects sales. Apparently, it's very there's a big sweet spot here, um, but it's so it's almost too inclusive. So that really wouldn't work. 
So our count versus temp, and then you can also look at you know your correlations too to get the fields that would have the most meaning possibly behind them, the most correlated fields, the ones with the most the highest positive correlation and the highest negative correlation. Then dump them into a uh, distribution plot like this and see how they display. So like a temp, that's the actual feeling temperature versus temperature that's in this uh, uh, data set also. So I could sit here and do that, and it looks very similar to temp. Okay, so again, it's the same it, temperature and average temperature or actual temperature or the feeling temperature are very closely related. So it can be affected a little bit by humidity and wind and some things like that. So humidity makes the the temperature higher than it actually than the uh, actual temperature of the day is. So we could do that. We could put uh, instead of count, which is total sales, I could put casual, which is the uh, new users. I could do that and then put casual in here so that or I could write new users like that and we could do this. It's just a neat way to play with your data and try and find hidden meanings in it. So in this case now I'm using casual which is the new subscribers and you see how this went from over here to over here and then we got some big outer liars over here because they're new users. New users are going to be much more random than subscribe users so you know what might be interested or interesting here to look at is the subscribed users. So let's look at them registered and uh, I believe it's called registered. We can always look at the data set here and let's go over here registered. Yep that's exactly what it is. So we want that to be registered and we put maybe we'll write subscribers subscribers because they've already rented at least one time. You could have for your business, if you're doing this for a business, you could set, you know, set some rules that a subscriber has to have subscribed five times in the last two years. Maybe that's a subscriber and anything else would be, you could have different classifications, it's called segmentation. And you can utilize that to better target and better track your customers. Um, but let's look here. So now see the registered is much closer this way um, to higher, uh, well, we got subscribers and holidays, so to higher sales, obviously. And oh, we got holiday. Why is holiday? Oh, you know, it's not holiday. It's a temp. We never change this. You have to make sure you always change your your uh, fields to display appropriately. So my mistake there, but let's do that. And there we go. Now it's subscribers against the actual temperature. It could be against temperature. It doesn't matter. In any case, you can play around with this and uh, see how your data shows. In this case, it shows like an evil eye kind of sort of. Um, but the cool thing here is remember, inside here is 50% of your data points for these two fields. And then outside here is your outer liars. And you can see you know, how far out they go to see what their spread is, how far apart are they. Most of them far apart or most of them much closer. So. It shows you how the data lies between these two fields and your data set as a whole when you start applying it to different fields in your data set. You can start to get some meanings from it sometimes from these different distribution plots. So this is a cool distribution plot to have in your back pocket. It's very simple to use. As I just showed you, it's just a tiny little bit of code right here. That's it. Uh, you have to have APL pack um, and read Excel. Read Excel you're going to use for a lot of things. You might as well have that anyway. Um, because that's basically importing an Excel uh, spreadsheet into uh, R. Um, again, this is R Studio for anyone that hasn't seen it and um, or used it. Uh, it's very helpful to use when you're using R. Uh, it's kind of like Visual Studio to uh, Visual Basic and uh, C Sharp. It's very helpful if you code without it. Uh, you know, you don't have the help. So, for instance, if I misspell something here, it'll give me warnings. It'll give me uh, uh, help to figure out, you know, little hints and stuff that, oh, you need a quotation mark, you're missing something. So if I took this away here, you know, and I ran it like this without that, what's it going to do? Let's see here. See, it's, it's thinking that there's more code and it's waiting on it for me to input it. So that's what our studio does. It's very helpful. It does a lot of different things like that. So by putting this in here, then I'll have to break this and stop it because it's just going to sit there and wait on me. But regardless, I wanted to show you a really cool distribution plot, the bag plot. Um, it's useful in looking at data that you haven't looked at before. 
and trying to just get some meaning out of it, especially if you've done you've looked at a couple correlations, you got some fields, and you got too many you're trying to choose from. You know, like if you got eight fields that are closely correlated, which ones do you want to pick? Which ones are better? Sometimes a couple different distribution plots will be the difference. It will help you make the decision as to which one's better for you to go use going forward in your analysis and other things. Or to uh, build a user case for doing a deeper dive or deeper analysis in. Hope you found this useful and interesting. The code, again, is right here. All you got to do is just copy this and paste it. Put in your, uh, uh, your where the location of your, um, your uh, file right here, your data set and uh, make sure you got these two libraries in there and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe and like and have a great day.